Are you planning with Yes, don't Let me one go, let me one go. That the guy is a is Pasha. The guy is a is Pasha. He's the letting. We will not take him. That is not what Nigerians are expecting from this electoral process. He played a script, we won't allow it. Thank you very this much. This country belongs to everybody. Uh, this country belongs to everybody. It does. The guy cannot take us for granted. We are not going to take it. We will not allow it. We will not take it. We will not allow it. The guy has nothing to say here. The guy has nothing to say here. Let him go to his office and send the committee to Kaduna. Let him go to his office and send the committee to Kano. The guy has nothing to reply here. He did not come to this place to reply to us. Three months before you do that, let him go to his office. Please. We will not leave here. Please, may I, may I respond? You cannot respond here. Uh -uh. <laughs> you cannot respond here. You cannot respond here. You cannot respond here. You didn't come here to respond on the issue of Rima State. You cannot respond here. He cannot respond here. You have made. Rima State is in his office. Let him go to his office and respond. Point of order, Point of order please. Point of order. So go to your office and respond. Go to your office and respond. You, you can't respond here. You made them here. You cannot respond here. He made he represented he did it in his office. Tell him to go to his office and respond to our protest. Let him go to his office and respond to our, to our protest. Your observation is noted, sir. Point of order, your observation. We have told you what happened. In Lima State, he did it in his office. We have put that. He refused to do it. We can't let him there to him in his office. He didn't do it. Tell him to go to his office. Let him go to his office to do it. No, 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 no. Professor Jekka, please go to your office. Please go to your office. Professor Jekka, please go to your office. Go to your office and do what you did to River State. We can't take it. We cannot take it. This Nigeria, he cannot do it here. He cannot do it here. He cannot reply here. He cannot reply here. He replied in... No. No, please. No, please. No. No. On the issue of rivers, he didn't do it yet. Let him go to his office. Let him go to his office and do it. Let him go to his office and do it. We confirmed to him quite late in his office. He refused it. He refused it. He had to even send somebody to come and throw the printed letter at us. We would take it. Let him go to his office. No, 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 no. You don't want to push him. Let him go to his office. The guy cannot be selective. The guy cannot be partial. The guy cannot be tribalistic. It is not possible. Yeah, let him go to his office. He cannot respond yet. Let him go to his office. In the issue of you, he didn't respond yet. Let him go to his office. No, please, no. Let me go to the office to respond. No, please. The way this point is made, let him go to his office and do it. The way he did it about River State. No, please, no, I won't leave. I will not leave him. Let the guy go to 
resources. I respect the issue. I'm not going to I am in Nigeria. The guy cannot be treating people selectively. It is not possible. I will not take it. You will not take it. He didn't come here to respond to the issue of liberty. Let him go to his office and respond to the issue. We want peace in this country. So let Jaga do this rightly. Let him not be selective, let him not be partial, let him not be tribalistic. I go from here. No, 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 no. Let him go to his office. Let him go to his office. Let him go to his office. No place. No, I won't go. I won't go anywhere. I won't go anywhere. Okay, a remarkable scene there from Abuja where uh, the, the entire world, not just Nigeria, was waiting on a continuation of the collation of results from yesterday. And there you saw God's Day Orubebe, a uh, PDP agent. He also is a former minister. We're going to be monitoring. Is
But the ones that we release are similar to the ones here from the situation room of APC. That's, that's our, our point. Who gave them this? How did they come about this result? That the same, the ones that we release are the same that are here in the, some of the states. We have compared them and that's why we are raising the observation. Sir. Um, so, Dr. Pedro Badley, the agent of PDP, another agent of PDP. Um, should I respond to all of the issues raised here? Most of life, sir. Thank you. First of all, with regards to the results you are holding. So please, can you return to your seats so I can respond? Um, can I now respond? Um, you've made two points. One is that you submitted a petition which I refused to accept. Secondly, you claimed that there was a result uh, released by the APC uh, which you alleged that we gave to them or I gave to them. With regards to the first point, yesterday, yesterday, after we took the first batch of results in this hall, and as we declared a recess until 4 p.m., as I was walking down back to the office, my PA came to me and said that here are some papers that Dr. Bello Fadili, a representative of the PDP, said that he should collect it, that I said that Dr. Bello Fadili should give him those papers. I told him that I didn't tell Dr. Bello Fadili to give any papers to you, return them to him. Because Bello Fadili, after we declared recess, came onto this platform. As a party agent, he's not supposed to do that. And gave some documents to my PA, who is writing results here. And I'm sure some of the agents and some of the press may have seen that. And I told my PA, take back those documents to him. If he told you, I told him, that you should collect it, I did not return it to them. Subsequently, Dr. Bello Fadile sent me a text message saying that uh, there are petitions and he wants to submit them. I told him we don't collect petitions on the platform when we are declaring results. And that then he now said that, well, we should have, I should have left my office open so that they can submit those petitions in my office. I told him our secretary, the secretary to the commission, is not here in this hall. She is in her office, and her business is to receive communications. If they are important enough, she will bring it to me here. I have started collation. I cannot be receiving petitions in this hall, on this platform. And when I replied that text message, he replied again and said, okay, he will see what he can do, which I interpreted to mean that he was going to take that petition or whatever documents he had to the secretary, to the commission. As I speak with you now, I have not received anything from the secretary to the commission. 
that is with regards to the issue of the so-called petition. With regards to what you said about results published by, uh, allegedly published by APC on his website, you know, I, I do not give results to anybody. The results we announce formally as INEC are results that are declared here. And we have warned everybody to be careful and to ensure that they do not declare results which we have not officially announced. So as far as I'm concerned, I have not seen any results. I have not given anybody any results. So for you to even engage me on that issue, I think, frankly, it is not fair to me. I have not seen the results. How can I speak about something I have not seen? So please let us be careful about what we say or do. And let us not disrupt a process that has ended peacefully and in a matter of hours we would be able to finish it. Mr. Orubobe, you are a former minister of the Federal Republic. You know, you are a statement in your own right, so you should be careful about what you say or what allegations or accusations you make, and certainly you should be careful about your public conduct. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much. We will now proceed with a committee. Professor J. E. Ahamiku is the State Commission Officer for a committee. Professor J. E. Ahaneku. Can you come to your resort, please? This way, this way. <laughs> can, you, can you state your full names? The states, please. Ladies and gentlemen, may we proceed, please? Um, this is Ebony, sir. Okay. And the State Coalition Officer, Professor Ahaniku, please introduce yourself. Uh, State Coalition Officer Ebony, please introduce yourself and present the results. Thank you. Mr. Chairman and members of the High Table, my name is Professor Joseph Ahaneku, Vice Chancellor Nandazikiwe University, Yoka, Nigeria. I served as the State Collection Officer for the presidential election in Ebony State. Mr. Chairman, Ebony State has 13 local government areas and 14 political parties participated in the contest. Number of registered 
voters in the Boyu State. One zero seven one two two six. One zero seven one two two six. Number of accredited voters four two five three zero one. Votes received by political parties. AA 426. AA 426. SCPN 1214. SCPN one two one four AD one one three three AD one one three three ADC two seven zero four ADC Two seven zero four FBA two four five two FBA two four five two FBC one nine five one eight FBC one nine five one eight CPP two three four five CPP two three four five Hope Hope Button nine eight nine Hope Nine eight nine Koa nine one three Koa nine one three NCP one eight nine zero NCP one eight nine zero PDP Three two three six five three PDP three two three six five three PPN one one six eight PPN one one six eight UDP six two four UDP six two four UPP four eight five nine UPP four eight five nine Total valid votes three six Three eight 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 total valid votes three six three eight 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 rejected votes two nine four four nine rejected votes two nine four four nine total votes cast Three nine three 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 seven total votes cast three nine three 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 seven. Thank you. Uh,
Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Uh, were there any cancellations? Yes, sir. There are some cancellations in um, some local governments and in particular some polling units. For instance, in Abakweke, 15 polling units were affected. It had number of registered voters as 10068. At Ikwo, local government, 21 polling units were also affected with number of registered voters as 115857. 11857. At Ohosra, just a polling unit with number of registered voters as 611. And lastly, at Onicha, local government with one polling unit affected with number of registered voters as 1015, giving a total of 38 polling units affected and number of registered voters total as 23551. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Prof. Uh, can you uh, submit the results, please? <coughs> J.E. Ahaliku, who was a state coalition officer for Ebony State. Uh, next. Yes, we'll go on to Niger <coughs> Chairman, sir. And the state coalition officer was Professor Abdul Ghaniyu Ambali. Professor, sir. Mr. Chairman, sir, other distinguished, distinguished officers at the high table, my name is Professor Abugali Ambali, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Illori. I served as coalition officer in Niger State, and in Niger State, we have 25 local government areas. The total number of registered voters is 1995679. Number of registered voters, 1995 679. Number of accredited voters 93607. Number of accredited voters 93607. A total of 14 political parties participated. And now give the breakdown. AA 307. AA 307. ACPN 441. 